Hello, hello everybody. This is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. Today we're going to make a beautiful Christmas wreath, but before we do that, I wanted to tell you about our new Shopify account. We have a new website that we're offering our, um, our wreaths. We've got different crosses, we've got lots of different gifts and things. We're also going to have some of the supplies that you'll see today. They're not quite up on the website yet, but they will be soon. If you're interested, check us out. It's gonna be, we'll have a link down below. And we are also gonna have um, where you can give us a call and we can make a custom design especially for you. Um, so be sure to check that out and we will go ahead and get started on our wreath. So I am going to start with an 18 inch grapevine wreath. This is just a regular grapevine wreath. We actually um, get these from a little fella who hand makes these. He drives around in a truck. He hand makes all of our grapevine wreaths, which is kind of interesting. Um, so I'm gonna start with my wreath. Now the things that I have are this beautiful little sign that's Oh, come let us adore him. It's just the nativity. And so what I thought we would do with this is we are going to attach it to one side. And then I've got some pretty greenery and lots of beautiful ribbon that we'll use. So I'm going to start out by removing the, um, this is just a jute um, hanger. So I'm going to start out with an 18 inch grapevine wreath and a cute little nativity sign. So it says, Oh, come let us adore him. And we're going to work in all of these pretty um, golds and navies. I'm going to start out by taking that sign. I'm going to zip tie it to the wreath. So I'm just going to poke my little zip tie right through and zip tie it right into place. Now this is going to hold it pretty, hold it tight. I'm gonna cut that off. So there is our little wooden sign. Um, and these signs are weatherproof, so they're made specifically to um, be hung on a door. Next, we're going to come in. I'm going to make my bow. So I have this um, this pretty Christmas tree um, ribbon with some gold gold stripes, kind of a fun gold stripes, then a gold lame and a gold glitter. So there's our ribbon. I even have this really pretty polka dot that I really like. So we may, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with all this ribbon, but we'll figure it out. So I think I am going to start out with the stripes and I am just going to make a loopy bow. So I'm going to hold the ribbon. This is the end here. I'm gonna make a loop and I'm just catching it with those two fingers. I'm gonna twist because the front of the ribbon is what has the print. So I just twisted and I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. So I only have two loops of this ribbon here, okay? Next, we're gonna make several loops of our Christmas tree, our navy with our gold Christmas trees. I think we're just gonna make two loops for, with that. So there we go, there. Then let's put our ivory with the polka dots. So I'm just placing that right behind and I'm going to make a loop. And a loop. So there we go. And so you just keep layering until you're happy with how it looks. I decided not to use the gold lame. I'm just gonna use this this sparkle or this glitter gold. I think it might even be considered champagne, but it's pretty. So I'm gonna make a loop with that. So there is our loopy bow. I'm gonna take a piece of florist wire. And it's about 12 inches long. I'm gonna just run it right up underneath my thumb 
and I'm going to bend it down. So you can see that wire there, and I'm gonna twist it. And there is our pretty bow. And you can kind of twist and pull that ribbon to kind of put it in place wherever you want it. So there we go. Next, what I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna put that bow here and then I'm gonna add some more just smaller loops here and there. I just want to cover the top where the top of our, um, I may do a smaller there. I may tuck it here. So you'll just kind of figure out exactly where you want it. There's no right or wrong. Just kind of figure out where you want it. I do think we're going to go here in the in the center, kind of right across from the um, from our ornament. So I'm going to take my wire and I am just going to lay that bow right into place and I'm twisting it on the back of that wreath. Just twist it really tightly onto the back of the wreath. And then you can adjust your loops. There we go. Now, you can always take your um, the ends of your ribbon and do, um, do a V cut. So your, this is called dovetailing your ribbon. So you can kind of see that little V cut. So let me show you how, what I'm doing is I'm just taking that ribbon and I'm folding it in half, just like that. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut upward and just make a little V. So it's giving us a dovetail. And I'm gonna do that on all of this ribbon because it gives a pretty finish. See that pretty dovetail? Just a pretty finish on those ribbons. Now that's completely up to you. If you don't want to dovetail them, you certainly don't have to. But I do think it gives a really pretty finished look. Okay, so I've got that ribbon dovetailed. We still have plenty of ribbon, so I can add ribbon in other places. I'm gonna set it to the side for a minute, and we're gonna add some pretty greenery. And I'm throwing stuff on the floor. We're gonna add some pretty greenery. Christmas greens to our wreath. Now the things I have available are this, um, this is a pretty little pine. Um, it's just a pick. Um, it is, I wanna say that I believe that these are $7.50 each. Um, so they're not terribly expensive and it's a good bit of greenery for that price. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out cutting off my tag. We will have these available on our Shopify website so that you can purchase them individually or you can purchase the whole wreath completely made. I'm going to take my pick. I have my glue pan here and it's warm. So I'm going to take my pick and I'm dipping it right into that glue. Actually, I'm gonna turn my glue up because it's not quite, there we go. So the temperature we have our pan on is, um, this is just a regular um, skillet that you can buy at, at the department store. You can get it at Walmart or, or anywhere. Um, Target, it is on, we have our heat on 150. You want the consistency of your glue to be at about honey consistency. So when you think of honey, um, that's about how thick you want the glue. If you get it too hot, um, the glue will drip and it gets so hot it'll blister. So I've taken that 
and I have just pushed it right into, I dipped it in that glue, and I pushed it right into my grapevine. And the wonderful part is you can take these pieces and kind of twist and turn. Now, let me show you a second way. I like to go ahead and attach my greenery with a zip tie also. So I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna take my zip tie, run it through that grapevine, and I am just going to zip tie my greenery to my wreath. If you are in a state like we are, Mississippi, it, it's hot and cold. We have issues with our temperature fluctuating. So hot glue doesn't always want to keep things in place. And so I like to attach it in a couple different ways. So I zip tied it right in. I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna zip tie this one. And try to zip tie it deep down into the wreath or deep down into the greenery too so that you don't see the greenery. I mean, the zip tie. You wanna see the greenery, not the zip tie. So I'm just taking that zip tie and I am just zipping that greenery right into place. Now this is a step you don't necessarily have to do, but if I ship out a wreath, I wanna make sure that it's going to stay together. Okay, so I zip tied that into place. Scoot my glue back over. I'm gonna take this third pick of greenery. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it in half so it'll go in two separate places on the wreath. So I'm flipping it over right there. I'm just taking it and cutting it in half. And then I'm gonna trim this stem here. So now I will take it, I will add some here and I'll add some here, and so it, it extends my greenery. I'm gonna dip it in my glue. Now, you can always go back and add your zip ties, and that's what I'll do for the rest of the way, but I just kinda wanted to show you that, that next little extra step that you can take to make sure that your greenery stays in place. Okay, so I've got it greened. Next, I will come in with these fun little glittery picks. So these are some fun little picks we'll have on our website. One dollar a stem, and they're little gr glittery pine. Now, I love the fact that they have that glitter, and they'll sparkle a little bit. Now, take those little picks and fluff them. Breathe a little life into them. Dip them, trim them a little bit. Dip them into your glue and tuck them right into that greenery. Now that's just going to give us a different texture, a little bit of color, and a little bit of glitter. Which is anything, is it Christmas without glitter? Not really, huh? Okay. And like I said, these will be $1 and we'll have those listed on our website. Oh, I've got my nose itching. Why is it when you get your hands messy, your nose itches? Okay. I tucked those right in, so they're gonna give our, our wreath a little bit of glitter. Next, I have this really pretty navy blue, um, and it is just a um, leaf pick, and it really is so pretty. Now, this pick is $15, but let me show you how you're going to make this pick go a lot further. So, I'm going to take and cut off my, my little tag, and I am going to cut it into pieces. So, there's one two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven pieces. And some of the longer pieces you could even cut in half if you wanted to. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dip it right down into my glue. And I'm just going to fill in here and there. I love this pretty blue. It makes you think so much of winter instead of Christmas, right? But see how long this one is? So I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna make it two more pieces. So when you cut it up like this, it makes it about, a, um, about $2 a stem, which really, I mean, for all this glitter, it really isn't too bad. You know, because you can spread it out throughout the wreath. So $15 isn't too bad when you can spread it out. Okay, so there's our blue, which looks really pretty. Now we're gonna add some more ribbon. So I'm gonna take my ribbons. And I'm really not gonna make a bow. I'm really gonna kind of just make, I'm just overlapping them just like this. So what I've done is I've just cut my um, ribbon into strips and I'm just going to kind of lay it down just like that, kind of crisscross. I'm gonna take a piece of wire, I'm gonna lay it over the top, kind of pinch that all together. And it's just going to be more of a I'm going to take and go ahead and cut my um, dovetails. And you can add as much ribbon or as little ribbon as you'd like. It's really all about your taste. So add as much or as little as you'd like. If you want more blue, add more blue. So I'm just going around to each strip and dovetailing each end. And then I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna kind of work that down into the greenery and tie it into place. The wonderful part about the glitter on this wreath is if you place this on your front door, that glitter is going to pick up the light as people travel by. And that's always fun to me. I'm going to make one more and kind of tuck it up here at the top. All right, so I've got all of my ribbons dovetailed and then I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to kind of crisscross them kind of crisscross just like that and just gather them together. Now you can zip tie them or you can use a little wire, whichever is easier for you. I'm gonna tuck that right in. And I'm just tying that off on the back of that wreath just take it, and I like to give it just a little bit of bend so they're not so straight out. So I'm just taking my thumb and pushing it right into that wire. And then I'm gonna add just a small little bow on top of our ornament. I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of this gold. Just gonna make a very small loopy bow. 
just don't want that zip tie to show. So I'm just taking a little bit of ribbon to make just a loopy, a small loopy bow. Don't go over the top with it, just something small. I'm just gonna tuck that right there over my ornament. I'm taking another wired piece of wire. If you get your bow too big, you're gonna cover up your ornament and that's certainly not something I wanted to do. So that's the reason I didn't use all of the ribbons. I just wanted just a small touch of ribbon because I don't want to cover my ornament. Okay, lastly, I'm going to add just a touch of this mistletoe to this arrangement. So this is just a small pick of mistletoe. It's artificial with a little bit of sparkle. And I thought that this would just kind of give us a little finishing touch tucked into the wreath. Um, and these are $2.50 a pick, so they're not very expensive, and they're just so sweet. I love the little sparkle, so I'm just taking those. Sorry, I didn't have those open. I'm going to remove those tags. And then I'm gonna take and trim the stem, dip them in my glue, and then just add that little added touch of that mistletoe. And like I said, you can add as little or as much to this wreath. Just make it your own. little piece I'm going to tuck it right here at the top of this ornament now I will go back and I will zip tie everything into place just to make sure that we've got double double holding but there is our our wreath and this is the finished project. Guys, thank you so much for being here this afternoon. If you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And check us out over on Facebook. We go live there every day with just different things here in the flower shop. And be sure to check out our Shopify um, website. Guys, y'all have a great day and we'll see you real soon.